The last statement, we have a statement from the Honorable Member for Chuka, Honorable Patrick Tigua. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I stand in this house today to pass my sincere condolences and moon a colleague, a fled, a member of my constituency, Honorable Beatrice Nkadhanyaga. Honorable Beatrice Nkadhanyaga served in this house, Madam Speaker, in the 11th and 12th Parliament. She's a leader who served with dedication, a very hardworking woman. In the Rakanidi, she was, we used to, to say she was the guru that held the Rakanidi together. Madam Speaker, it's a very sad moment because we just lost a leader, a very loving woman, a very dedicated leader, Madam Speaker. And as a county and as a country, we are at loss today to mourn Beatrice Nkada Nyaga, the former member of parliament, the immediate former member of parliament for the Rakanidi County, the women lab. Madam Speaker, Nkada has been ailing for the last few months. And yesterday, she listed. I stood in this house, Madam Speaker, to mourn her today and to give my sincere condolences to her family, her children, and the great people of the Rakanidi, where she comes from, and members of this parliament who worked very closely with her because Madam Beatrice was afraid to all in this house. Madam Speaker, I was just thinking when I was seated here, and I was saying it's, as we bid farewell today, as we mourn Kada today in the Rakanidi, it's also a celebration as we, for appointment of Kidiki, so it's mixed feelings, it's mixed feelings in the county, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, thank you. I even don't know what to continue. I would just request Honorable Murugara, who I know was a very close friend, to give her condolences, his condolences. Thank you, Speaker. Honorable uh, Patrick, you're out of order. You cannot give the opportunity to the member for the Raka. I think I'll give Honorable Dorothy Kiara, then I'll come to you. Yes, but you're out of order. <laughs> you're taking the Speaker's job. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, indeed, it is a sad day for all of us today, and uh, I want to join uh, my brother, Honorable Patrick, and the entire Daraka community and the women of this country in mourning Honorable Beatrice Nkada. Honorable Beatrice Nkada was a woman of strength. She worked diligently as the first woman representative of the Rakanidi, where she was referred to as Mama County. She served the women, the vulnerable, and the rest disadvantaged in the community with a lot of dedication and skill. Honorable Speaker, I want to say it's a sad moment for the country, and more so for, for all of us because we know the great law that Honorable Beatrice Nkada played during the 2022 general elections. Honorable Beatrice Nkada, Madam Speaker, if you can remember from our clips, she was very committed to ensuring that this government comes to power and more so fighting for His Excellency the President. Even when the ground in our own community was so hostile, that she was not able to mention anything else. She went on even when there was a lot of noise, shouting, Ruto, Ruto, Ruto. We still remember her for that. Honorable Madam Speaker, I want to join the rest of uh, the members of this house who served diligently with this beautiful soul. A lady who was very generous, 
Arende who put on a smile all the time, even when things were so difficult. And I want to say, may a gracious, the gracious Lord rest us so all in internal peace. Thank you. Member for Tharaka Nithi, Honorable George Murugara. I will come to you. I've, I'm just following the order of the names that came here. I can see Honorable Mishim Boko is next. Yes. You're out of order, Honorable. Proceed, Honorable Member for Tharaka. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, allow me to join my colleague, neighbor and county of Tharakanithi, the Honorable Patrick Munenen Tuega, who represents Chukai Gambangombe and is the local member of parliament for the late Honorable Mbitwis Nkatha Nyaga. May I join him on behalf of the people of Tharaka constituency, Tharaka Nithi County, and all the well wishers of the country, as we relay our unreserved uh, condolences to the family of the late Beatrice Nkava. Madam Speaker, Honorable Beatrice Nkava was a lady to behold. She served the county of Tharaka Nithi for 10 years without a blemish. We remember the lady Beatrice Nkava with nostalgia and especially as she was the unifying factor of that county even when things appeared to go south. She spoke for all of us. She loved the county. She traversed that county with a coloss like a colossus and they did not discriminate one constituency against another or one people against another people. She loved the children, the students, the elderly, the vulnerable, and she spoke for them without any reservation. Today, a dark cloud hangs over the county of Tharakanithi as we mourn this great lady. It also hangs of the country because Beatrice, especially towards the last general election, stood for the entire country. She was one of the most committed servants of the UDA party. She was one of the most loyal persons to His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And Dr. Ruto constantly remembered Beatrice and would always ask where she was, what she was doing, and eventually nominated her for the seat of CAS, Treasury, in this republic. We never took that uh, as light as it would appear, in spite of the fact that problems came up with that position of CAS. Let me thank His Excellency for that, and also thank him today because he's wiping away our tears by nominating Professor Kidore Kendeke to be the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Professor Kendeke does not belong to Tharakanivi, to Meru, or any other. He is a nationalist. He stands in for the entire country, and this is why this House has received that nomination with the zeal, happiness, and accolades as required. Uh, Madam Speaker, as I pen off, I have just also lost my mom, uh, the late uh, Lena Gashire Morugara, who is, sorry, to whom I am the third born. She was elderly at 88. She has rested. I'm happy that all these members of parliament have actually wished me well and given their condolences to me. And for that, I do sincerely appreciate and thank all of you. Thank you very much. The Honorable Member for Likoni, Honorable Mishimboko. Mike, uh, asante sana bispeaker na mimi nachukua nafasi hii kwa niaba yangu niaba eneo bunge langu la likoni na niaba la watu wa Mombasa niweze kutoa risala zangu za rambi zambi kwa mwenda zake dada yetu Beatrice Nkantha na niseme mheshimiwa Beatrice 
tulikuwa naye katika bunge hili la kitaifa na alikuwa kiongozi shujaa sana kiongozi ambaye alikuwa anapenda watu sana kiongozi ambaye kila wakati ukimuona alikuwa na furaha na bashasha kiongozi aliyekuwa na msimamo thabiti wa kutetea chama chake na kutetea kiongozi ambaye walikuwa ni wa chama chake na tulikuwa tunajua dada yetu ataweza kuingia katika ule uongozi ule tulikuwa tunaita kiingereza kwa ufupi kas lakini kwa yale mambo yaliyotukia hakuweza kufika hapo tunasikitika sana hata nimetamautishwa kusikia kwamba alikuwa amegonjeka kwa muda mfupi takriban kama miezi miwili hivi tungekuwa tumejua haswa sisi kama kina mama tungeweza kumtembelea na kuweza kumuombea dua ili Mungu ampatie afueni lakini tunajua sisi tulimpenda lakini Mwenyezi Mungu amempenda zaidi mheshimiwa Beatrice wakati mmoja tulikuwa naye katika kamati moja na tulikuwa karibu sana na yeye na nilipenda sana mavazi yake wakati akivaa alikuwa mama maridadi sana atautaona kile kibeti anachobeba viatu anavyovaa nguo anaovaa yote itakuwa inawiana yani alikuwa mama ambaye ni mtanashati sana sana na alikuwa mama ambaye hana fujo na mtu wala hana dhiki na mtu pia tulikuwa kina mama wa kwanza tukiwa na yeye kuwa katika kiti cha kuwakilisha katika kaunti zetu mimi nikiwa kule Mombasa na yeye akiwa anawakilisha kule sehemu ya kwao tulikuwa wa kwanza baada ya kupata katiba mpya ya taifa letu ya Kenya tunasikitika na tunaomboleza pamoja na ndugu zetu wa sehemu zile za Meru sehemu zile za Taraka kumpoteza shujaa wetu dada yetu Bitre Sinkantha tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu ailaze roho yake mahali pema peponi na tunaomba serikali ya Kenya kwanza kupitia daktari William Samoei Ruto kwa sababu huyu alikuwa kiongozi wako shujaa kiongozi wako mwenye msimamo uweze kuangalia familia yake yeye ni mwenda zake sasa lakini najua ana watoto pengine hata ana wajukuu tusiwatupe viongozi wetu wakati wamepatwa na misiba pia tuwakumbuke kwa wale ambao wamewaacha na wao wakiwa wametangulia kule mbele tunamuombea Mola amweke pema penye wajawema poleni sana watu wa Taraka poleni sana watu wa Meru poleni sana bunge la kitaifa na Kenya kwa jumla asante sana bispika honorable member for Nairobi County honorable Esther Pasari Thank you Madam Speaker for giving me this opportunity to speak. Um I want to send condolences to the family of Beatrice and Kathanyaga uh for myself and my family and the county of Nairobi. It is indeed a sad moment uh when you hear that somebody you knew has passed on and with the nature of life um we served in the seventh uh, in the 12th parliament together. Um we haven't seen her for Uh, a while but i remember we met once during campaigns and even if she was in uda and i was in odm we still exchanged pleasantries like sisters i met her again recently when she was appointed to become a cast of treasury and she was very happy and she was also very happy that i had made my second term um she was such a lovely human being she was a beautiful soul she had no uh, inhibitions and at the same time she had no hard feelings for anyone in politics sometimes when you're in opposing parties people always you know you see that there's tension in the friendship with her the friendship was pure sincere and as a woman she believed in the tribe of women so we stood together um i would like to quote uh, shakespeare all we are all on the world stage all as men and women we are merrily players that are here that exist and we have entrances and we exist so she has exited the uh, the stage but she will not be forgotten she has left her landmark we say sorry to the people of Tarakanithi we also say sorry to the people of Kenya because as a legislator you don't just serve your constituency or your county you make decisions that impact and uh, impact and affect and serve all Kenyans 
So um, as she has exited her stage, we also have seen that we have a nomination of the CS Githuri Kindiki as the incoming deputy president. Um, and we, we, you know, we say that the people of Taranakaniti have lost with one hand and received with another. But we also recognize that um, the CS Kindiki is um, a national figure. He has served in many offices and he has also served as interior. So he knows that Kenya is one and we wish him well uh, in his nomination and we wish this country the best. Um, condolences to the family. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honorable members, I think we need to close this. Yes, the Andrew and the member for, yes, you may proceed. Yeah, I'll give you the member for Taraka, I'll give you after. You may proceed first, double N. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to send my condolences to uh, the late Moshmira Beatrice Gather uh, from the Rakanidi County. Uh, I know her personally, we have met in many occasions, even during the last 22, 2022 campaigns, we were with her in many, many meetings, and it is handed us this morning to hear about the demise of Beatrice Gather. We are here to give our sincere condolences to the family, the children, and the whole community of Darakanidi County for losing such a soul who was a kind person. She was a generous person. And above all, she was very smart, even at heart. Uh, I represent Ebu County as women rep, and I know she was one time the women rep of Darakanidi. And as women rep in this house, this August house, we are sanded to lose one of us, and we can only pray that it did the Kenya Kwanza government, the UDA fraternity, and the entire house that we shall stand with her and the entire family as we remember her and the entire family. We are so rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Honorable Nduyo, member for Tharakaniti, you'll be the last one. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. Madam Speaker, I've been also in trying to draft something better to present in the afternoon, but luckily I got that my colleague has presented this statement to us. Madam Speaker, today is a, a Sunday and happy day for the Rakanidi. Mixed feelings. Madam Kada is my predecessor. A lady that I valued, a lady that I honored. When I decided to vie for the seat of woman rep, I was so confused on how I would go about it because she was like a mentor to me. Um, that's why I even tell my people that I've not come to compete with her. I'm coming to continue from where she stopped. Alende Wu had been honored, a professional printer that I worked with the provincial administration for close to 26 years. Alende Wu didn't know the poor and the rich. Alende Wu left indelible marks, so many indelible marks in the Rakanidi County. Ms. Madam Speaker, we are sad. Madam Speaker, Nkada was a very handy-working lady. One of the founding mothers and one of the founding officers and one of the founding politicians of the UDA party. A great friend of Professor Kidore Kideki. I expected her to be here today with us to be the leading mother to celebrate this joy that is in the Rakanidi today. But unfortunately, Madam Kada is not there. We are celebrating this great day Yet we are mourning. I've just talked to the son. It's so sad. But pray that God may give us peace. That God may comfort the people of the Rakanidi County. That people, God may comfort her family. We loved her. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. So, honorable members, let us rise. And uh, for a moment of silence in honor of our departed colleague, Honorable Beatrice Kathanganga.
May her soul rest in eternal peace. Next order.